Yo, what's up, everyone? Uh, today's video is gonna be uh, 60 ways to destroy Dry Tron. Let's go! We got 60 amazing tidbits in this video, so stay tuned to the end of the video so you can witness all the great cards to destroy this trash ass Dry Tron deck. Let's go, baby! Dry Tron is not the best deck. If you prepare correctly, you could destroy Dry Tron too. So if you're ready for this video to figure out 60 ways to destroy Drytron, smash the subscribe button, baby! Smash it! Now, we gotta hit 40,000 subscribers by Monday, or else I'll be sad. And you don't want Triff Gaming sad, baby! So smash the subscribe button! Also, before we get into this video of 60 ways to destroy Drytron, and I'm gonna be doing it in 15 seconds each, super fast speed, so stay tuned till the end. But before we get into it, I wanna give a big, massive shout out to the sponsor of today's video. So I wanna give a big shout out to Into the AM, who sponsored me for this video to create, look at this, I mean look at this shirt man, it's so sick, it fits amazing, looks great, feels great. Go check out down in the description below, Into the AM. They are absolutely amazing, I don't have enough good words for this company, I absolutely love them. And for a limited time only, you guys can get 10% off all your stuff from there, site wide, so go check it out down in the description below. With that being said, I'm out of breath from falling on the floor, 60 ways! To destroy Dry Tron, coming right now. Let's go. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video, boys. This is going to be 60 of the best cards against Dry Tron. This format. 15 seconds each, totally 15 minutes of 60 absolute golden timbits of knowledge. Shout out Tim Hortons. But the very best one card to kill Drytron out of the 60, I say their Patreon. It, so if you guys want to go check that out, I just posted a two minute video on it right now on Patreon. So go check it out in the link below. Oh, it's only $10 a month. You guys can check out a bunch of new content. Go check it out. And it's going to showcase what I think is the number one best card against Drytron. It's also searchable by nine different cards. Anyways, enjoy this video, boys. I put a lot of effort into this. It's just an 18 minute video, but there's a lot more time to put into this video. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Took a long time for me to find these cards. Enjoy, and hope you guys destroy all your Drytron opponents. Let's go. All right, 60 ways starting now. Each of these are 15 seconds long. Number one, Droll. So we got three blowouts. One of the, the biggest one, Troll and Lockbird, baby. You use this, you destroy them. Searchable by the best deck pendulum. What's there not to love? There's a few cons, as in you can only play it in combo decks, but that's fine because you OTK. Another blowout card is Dimension Shifter. These two cards are insane. If you play a deck that D Shifter could be used in, then D Shifter is insane against Drytron. The only problem is you cannot use D Shifter in a few decks, so it's a little iffy on that end. Dark Ruler, no more. It's everyone knows. Use Dark Ruler on on the Vandy Ruler or on the Herald of Ultimateness that they put up. You kill them, but you can only use it going second. It's still a great blow card, but I prefer cards you can also use going first, like hand traps. Now I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of hand traps that are good. These are in no particular order of what cards are good, but now just hand trap section, cycle reader is the best hand trap against them because you can play it even in slow decks. So you play a Lich, play this over Droll and Lockbird. It's really good. Ash Blossom, only of the feet variety. You play this one and you can basically negate anything and it'll never be dead in your hand. Yes, this is great against a Drytron, but it's not enough by itself. And that's a common factor we're going to find in all of these hand traps that we're about to talk about. There's different categories of cards that are good against Drytron. First, I showed you guys the three blowout cards. Now you guys are about to see witness about eight hand traps that are the best hand traps against Drytron. But they all have their cons and pros in the sense of they're not good enough by themselves. All these hand traps share the exact same cons and almost the exact same pros, in the sense that if it's not Drill and Lockbird or Dimension Shifter, you're gonna need something else with it, doesn't matter what hand trap it is. But, when you combine the Crow with the Ghost Spell, now you have two good hand traps, and it could potentially stop them. Open three of them, and you absolutely stop them, and then you're gonna have three cards left over to play with, and put up another unbreakable board. Gamma's the one that has a very different con than all these hand traps, and that it's Cybrick Gamma, baby. You're gonna be drawing Driver more times than Gamma. And even after you're done using the first Gamma, the next Gammas are dead in your deck. At least Droll, you could use more. And at least D-Shifter is more game-changing. 
Nibiru is cool because it's good against players that think Nibiru is not a card anymore. No one plays Nibiru anymore. That's why I wanted to put Nibiru in here because you catch them by surprise with the Nibiru. So it's pretty good at the moment. Infinite Impermanence is the 11th card here in the 8th hand trap. The reason I said Imperm is not to stop Carrier, despite the fact of that being good. But when you combine Imperm going second, the ability to use it going second as well is good enough. Because sometimes they end just on Vanity Ruler, leading to Forbidden Droplet, which is now I'm going to be talking about to you guys. But a lot of quick play spells that I think are amazing as well. Forbidden Droplet, when resolved, seems good. But it, honestly, you still got to deal with two Heralds and you wasted two cards with the Droplets. So it's okay, but it's not a blowout. Leading to a bunch of quick play spells that I think that combined together with Imperm as well, Droplets, and all these quick play spells I'm about to say are probably the best way to clear this deck if you're playing a combo deck. Because when you face Drytron and you're playing a combo deck, what happens if you have one Forbidden Chalice and one Widow Anchor? You out the Vanity Ruler. Yes, the biggest cons of quick play spells are quick play spells like two Forbidden Chalices stops Vanity Ruler because you just need one to stop the Link to Herald. The only problem, the biggest con with all of these ritual spells, sorry, with all these quick play spells, the biggest con is that it's not very good against Herald of Ultimateness. Now, a lot of people now have have shifted from Vanity Ruler to Herald of Ultimateness. So, a lot of these quick play spells are not good for that strategy. You kind of have to gonna merit what cards I want to play against and what cards I want to play against each. Like, do I care about Vanity Ruler? Do I care about Ultimateness? Am I gonna try and stop both? And in order to stop both. There's really not that many cards aside from a bunch of hand traps because then you don't really know. Or more than enough spell cards that they're just going to run out of fairies to negate with. So it's the, I like all these spell cards that I'm showing you guys in conjunction. You can play any of them together because the quick play spells, unlike Regeki, which I'm about to show you, they're, they're not just two of like two Forbidden Chalice, two Imperm, two Widow Anchor, two Book of Moon. They stop Vanity Ruler, but also if you don't need all of them, you could serve them as an interruption, which is a con of Regeki. The, the card here that we're showing, and Dark Hole, the uh, 18th and 19th cards we're showing you guys here. They're good, man. Like, they're good because you can go Dark Hole, Dark Hole, and Vanity Ruler's gone, and then you can just play. Uh, against Herald, it works the same way. So, typically, when they have Ultimateness, they're going to have Eva with. They're going to have Eva and one Fairy, like a Herald and an Eva. So, if you just make them bait out one of the. Like, you'll, you'll go Regeki. And then they'll chain ultimateness, and you'll chain chalice, and they'll chain book of moon. I know it sounds weird, but this ends up being the, the card's dead. Kaiju slumber is also a good one. Afterburner is a good one. Kaiju slumber is the biggest con is that you have to play kaiju's. But a cool thing about kaiju slumber is that the slumber kills vanity ruler, and the kaiju's kill herald, leading to something that I think is insane that no one's talking about. It's creature swap. If they're play if you know for sure they're playing the vanity ruler version, you just enter battle phase, you attack into the 600 attack herald. Link to, and you steal the, the Vanity Ruler, and you have the Vanity Ruler forever. And Creature Swap's not the only card that does that. Crackdown does the exact same thing. So now you get to actually steal their Vanity Ruler and use it for yourself, and it doesn't change back. You, you keep it for good. It, that's actually insanely amazing. Uh, the problem with this is if they go Herald. That's the biggest con for both of these versions. So if you think that they're going to play Vanity Ruler, those cards are really good. Now for the Herald Stoppers, there's some cards that just are crazy against Herald. Kaiju's. I could put 15 Kaijus down. There's not going to be ne many Herald Stoppers I'm going to talk about just because Kaiju is just the best one. You have 15 Kaijus to choose from, or if you're playing a Trap deck and don't want to put in Kaijus, Solemn Strike. What if I told you there was more than one Solemn Strike? What if I told you there was Solemn Strike and Divine Wrath, baby? Let's go. Divine Wrath on Herald of Ultimateness also kills them. So if you're playing a Trap deck, Play Divine Wrath and Solemn Strike, and the third one that I'm about to show you guys, Broken Line, which is going to come up in a few seconds on the screen. These three together, combined with traps that must be negated, like Dogmatic of Punishment, like Torrential Tribute, even Needle Sealing to a lesser extent going second, anything, Conquistador, your opponent will negate it with Ultimateness, and you chain Broken Line, chain Divine Wrath, chain Strike, and you kill them. In terms of actual traps to play against that deck, Transmigration Prophecy has got to be the best one. It's Cycle Reader on legs that is searchable by by nine different cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. So this card is insane right now against Drytron if you're playing a Trap deck. Trap Trick searches it. It literally just gets rid of two Drytrons for free. It does what Cycle Reader does. It's DD Crow times two. If you're playing DD Crow in a Trap deck and you're not playing and you're not playing Transmigration Prophecy in an LH Trap deck, what are you doing? This card literally does times two of what DD Crow does. 
Lilith searches it. You have nine ways into, into this card. It's amazing. And I do want to put up a shameless plug here where I am saving, I am saving the best card for my Patreon video. So if you guys want to see the real best card against Drytron, go check out my Patreon. I posted the video. It's a three minute long video discussing the best card that destroys it. Anyways, Debug is also a good one. I want to put some traps on here as well. Because if I throw you, show you guys 50 cards to play that you can only play in combo decks like spells, hand traps. What about all the people that play trap decks? Stuff like that. A little of everything so you guys can see. Witch's Strike. If you combine Witch's Strike with any real trap, when it gets negated, you just destroy the board. Biggest pro of that card. It auto wins by itself. Mask and Restrict. We're on to something that I'd rather not talk about. That's the Floodgates. They're very boring, but they work. So Mask and Restrict. And down just destroys that deck. Going first or second, it just stops them. As long as you have enough to break the board going second, or at least damage it a little bit. Light Imprisoning, same thing. These two cards destroy this deck. You could play Master Restrict and Light Imprisoning, even if you're playing a combo deck, just because you know Drytron is so overplayed right now uh, that you can just throw them in. Go, going first or second it helps you destroy that deck. Mistake, the biggest issue I have with Mistake is unlike Light Imprisoning and Master Restrict, Mistake's not as good going first. It's uh, sorry, going second. It's it's way better going first. Not as good going second. That's like a little issue I have. Soul Drain, this card. Soul Drain and Mind Drain. You know, you can put them both together here. One stops Graveyard, Drytron effects, and Ben 10. The other stops Herald in hand, the hand traps, and also stops the Drytron in hands. So Soul Drain and Mind Drain are both good options, but I would choose for the other ones. I like a lot. Rivalry of Warlords, Goes in Match, and there can be only one. These are the next three that are about to show up. The reason being is, yes, I'm aware that they're all light. It doesn't matter. Or I'm aware that they're all machine, whatever. It doesn't matter. It literally just doesn't matter. The beauty of it is that when they go for Zeus, okay, they're going to go for Zeus, and then that's when you flip your goals in. That's when you flip your rivalry. doesn't matter if it seems like they're all light. It doesn't matter. If they're a good player, they're going to go into Zeus. So they're going to put up the wind XYZ. Flip goes in on that. There's going to be no Zeus, no nothing. It's really good in that sense. The Kobo also works, but not as well, because they can always... Uh, neg to put up one fairy one uh, machine one and then go into phoenix now we're going to talk about monster floodgates so the cool thing with monster floodgates is that the same cards that that Drytron puts up they lose to they lose to every floodgate man not just vanity ruler literally every floodgate i've never seen a, the top meta deck lose to so many floodgates and then i have this deck any floodgate destroys it not just traps or but monsters too Ultimate is stops it. You just they run out of Drytron cards. Almost every like it's very difficult for a deck that puts up in the gates for this deck to go second against a deck that has a bunch of negates. Yes, it's really good versus cards like Zodiac, Dry, 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 Dryden, or Conquistador and stuff. But against deck that put up in the gates doesn't do anything. Ally just is quarantined. Probably the best floodgate out of anyone because this one you could search with Foolish Burial Goods. You go Foolish Burial Goods to send Orcas Crescendo. Orcas Crescendo. Adds Ally of Justice Quarantine. Normal summon Ally of Justice Quarantine. Past turn. If you needed your normal summon, you could search Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. That is huge. I want you guys to remember that part. Foolish Braille of Goods searches Ally of Justice Quarantine and Cycle Reader. Barrier Statue. I mean, half the decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Could, could play this one win barrier statue and find a way to go into Link 3 with Rubber Dacus and then bring this card out. It's so easy. Fossil Dynamite. Not as good as win barrier statue. Because not searchable by any Link 3 in Yu-Gi-Oh! essentially. But Fossil Dyna, Jaugen, you could Banisher of the Radiance even. All these cards destroy this deck. You could play any deck that draws a lot. Even if you need to use your your, your normal summon, you go to Sayuja and special summon it. Jaugen has implications if you're playing the best deck. Pendulum, you can do some cool plays with Time Star. Uh, Dryden, pop your scale. Time Star, protect, send Jaugen. Then find a way to special the jacket from your graveyard. So you can do a lot of cool stuff like this. Uh, and then the banish we talked about. But I think barrier statue is the best one. Uh, or ally versus quarantine because they're all searchable and very easily. These ones are not searchable. That's why I'm not a fan of these ones versus the other ones. But some decks they are. Chainable traps. This is also very big because you don't want to die to feather duster and reboot and stuff. Mistake and arrest. They, they just cannot search. It's a very good. It's mistake but a quick play spell that cannot be stopped by a cosmic cyclone or anything. Different dimension ground. Same thing. If your opponent playing Drytron cannot access their graveyard, they will do nothing that turn and pass to you. When they pass to you, you destroy them on your turn. That's also a con of both these decks. It only stops for one turn, so you better kill them on that turn. Imperial Order. Now onto some 
going first cards. This is a little issue I have. I don't like cards that are only good going first. That to me is kind of useless. Like you should be playing cards that are great going second, not just going first. That's my issue with Imperial Order. Summon Limit is kind of the same thing, but Summon Limit is probably the best floodgate going first or Imperial Order because Imperial Order stops the post side deck cards like Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, and stuff like that, uh, depending on the deck you're playing. Uh, even Dark Ruler, if you, you know, it's very good in that sense. You got Macrocosmos here, which is also only good going first, but when you flip this on them, it destroys them. Dimensional Fissure, which is the next one coming. You only have two cards like this, Macrocosmos and Deep Fissure. Both of these cards obliterate them. But if you're looking at all these 55, 53 cards I've shown you guys so far, I mean, this is 53 cards. You can pick your pick your poison, pick five of them, and you're going to have a great matchup against Drytron. You don't need to play all these 60. I'm just giving you 50, 60 options. You can pick five. Wakero, another great option. Literally, play Eldritch in your deck. Are you playing Invoked and have a tough, a tough time with this deck? Well, throw in the Eldritch engine, just a 12-card engine, and you have a searchable Wakero to banish. If you don't like Eldritch as an engine, try Sky Strikers. The, a lot of decks right now don't realize this, but you could throw in a 12-15 card st Sky Striker engine uh, that doesn't just don't use your normal summon, save it for Ray, and you have an access to Shark Cannon every turn. So it's another way that's a, a very utilizable. You could always put these engines into your deck. It does require a lot. But anyways, on uh, the extra deck, Calamities. Everyone knows just how good Calamities is. I mean, it's literally an auto win against that deck. Just how all these other floodgates are an auto win. So if Calamities works on you, why wouldn't it work against Drytron? Use it. Abyss Dweller, probably the most under-talked one. I wanted to save this for last to, to reward everyone that's watched this video up to this point. Dweller, you can make in almost every deck if you try hard enough. It kills them single-handedly. It's amazing against them. Highly recommend this one. Next, Dark Rakim XYZ Dragon. Uh, any deck could play this too. You just throw in a Rusty package, which a lot of decks can do. And this card negates it three times, and you cannot attack over it like you can in Appaloosa. Highly recommend this card if you could make it. But Dweller is definitely the best. Dolka, if you're playing Dynamo, I'm going to have a tough time with this deck. Just throw in, make sure you prioritize Dolka and a Conductor, because a Dolka will stop two Drytron effects. So you're good there. And then Conductor, the book two of them, so Zeus doesn't come, and you should be fine. And onto the best deck, baby! Just play the best deck! That's the best way to kill Drytron. Just play the best deck. Penmas deck, baby. Let's go. Just play the best deck. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you just destroy them. Easy solutions. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is 60 ways how to destroy Drytron in this 2021 format. If you guys love this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Because if you guys love this video, I will do more videos like this. Except 60 ways to destroy Virtual World. How to destroy Calamities. There's so many ways to do it. There's so many ways. All you need is one of these. A fresh haircut. And then you can do anything. Before we end off this video, I want to give another big shout out to the boys here at Into the AM. Look at this shirt, man. It is fresh as hell. Go check it out down below. This, man, I look like I look like Freddie Van Vliet. You know, I, just, I just looked at, you know, the Raptors basketball player who's who's our only good uh, player right now because Pascal Siakam sucks, man. Get your shit together, Pascal. Anyways, yeah, smash the subscribe button. Check out the link down below and consider if you guys want to figure out the real way to destroy Drytron, sign up on Patreon. I just posted a three-minute video on the real best card to destroy Drytron. I just saved one card and it's searchable by nine cards. So it's actually ten cards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next video. Peace!